There are tons of resources out there to help you learn the basics of web development. But what comes next? Once you're good with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, how do you take your skills to the next level? Well, this course is here to help. My name's Colton. I created one of those beginner resources, the Web Developer Bootcamp. Now with this new course, the Advanced Web Developer Bootcamp, not super crazy about the title. I wanted to call it the Learn All the Latest Cool Cutting Edge Technologies Bootcamp, but that didn't fly. So we're calling it the Advanced Developer Bootcamp. We're here to help you level up your skills even further. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of students about the different topics and technologies that I should cover. Well, I've been listening. For a more thorough breakdown of everything we cover in this course, please check out our curriculum walkthrough video. But for now, I'm gonna do my best to give a quick overview. And there's a lot to talk about, so here we go. We cover flashy topics like CSS animations, CSS Flexbox, React, Redux, SVG, and data visualizations with D3. But we also focus heavily on the equally important advanced JavaScript topics, things like asynchronous JavaScript and Ajax, single page applications, refactoring JavaScript, building your own APIs, object-oriented programming, testing with Jasmine, functional programming, ES 2015, ES 2016, and you guessed it, ES 2017. So honestly, this could easily be five or six separate courses. But in keeping with my bootcamp tradition, I've decided to bundle it all together into one massive course. This course is actually so massive that we have learning paths that we've established, different pathways through the content to help you get where you want to go. As always, like my other courses, this course is chock full of exercises and projects, labs, quizzes, all sorts of different activities. We build all sorts of projects, ranging from full stack React apps up to this really cool data visualization dashboard that we build using real CO2 emissions data. So who is this course for? What are the prerequisites? Well, I'll start by saying you do not need to be some advanced web developer and you don't need to have taken my original course. All that matters is that you're comfortable with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Along the way, we have all sorts of refreshers and on-ramps to help you catch up if you need it. Not sure if this course is for you? Well, it probably is only because it covers so much content. Treat it like an encyclopedia or a reference. You wanna learn Flexbox now? Maybe come back in a month or two and learn more about React. Or learn about testing with Jasmine and then come back to learn D3 when you're more comfortable with JavaScript. It's totally up to you. You don't have to go through this course all at once. So let's wrap this up. By the end of this course, you'll be able to write modern, clean, well-tested JavaScript code, create your own APIs, build single page apps with React and Redux, code up beautiful data visualizations with D3, test your code, build layouts with CSS Flexbox, add animations to your websites, and a whole lot more. So join now to level up your web development skills. Thanks for watching.